Hey, what's up guys? Betty here and there has been a huge update to Black Ops 4 Blackout where you are now able to unlock all available characters in Blackout, which is pretty exciting, including the Primus zombie characters, which I know everyone has been waiting for. The items have been added into the game, including Dempsey through the Juggernaugger bottle. Then you've got Nikolai through the Russian tanker hat. You've then got Rick Toffin through his blood vials and then Takio through the Emperor's letter. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock all of these characters from where you can find each of the mission items on the Blackout map, to what you need to do in order to complete the missions, as well as some tips and tricks to make it as easy as possible for you to unlock them, all in the fastest time possible. So we'll first of all kick off with Dempsey, who I think out of the four brand new zombie character skins is one of the easiest to unlock. You'll first of all need to find his Juggernaug bottle, which you can find in three different locations. Either inside the Nuketown bunker in the diner, you can also find it through a mystery box, which you can get from killing all the zombies at a zombie location, or you can also get it from killing the Blightfather in the graveyard, who can drop all zombie character items in the game, but is only available for limited periods of time. To unlock Dempsey, you'll need to kill an enemy with any grenade. That could be a frag or cluster grenade. It doesn't matter as long as it's a grenade. You'll then need to finish the match with a Juggernaug bottle in your inventory in order to complete the mission. This is actually one of the few missions in the game right now that doesn't require you to also achieve a high placement in the match you complete the objectives in, which is why I think it's pretty easy, especially as grenades are pretty powerful. If you have the choice, definitely try and use cluster grenades and just throw them into buildings that enemies are in. It's very difficult for opponents to escape due to the small clusters and will 9 times out of 10 get you an easy kill, allowing you to unlock Dempsey to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. Also, where you get the Juggernaug bottle, just throw grenades in those corridors and you'll be able to pick up an easy kill pretty quickly. So to unlock Dempsey, head to either the Nuketown Bunker Diner, a mystery box or the Blightfather and get the Juggernaug Bottle. Kill an enemy with any grenade and keep the Juggernaug Bottle in your inventory to unlock Dempsey. Next up we have Nikolai, whose Russian tanker hat can actually be quite difficult to get your hands on if you don't know how. Now it spawns in the graveyard behind this fence at this tomb and there's no clear way on how to open it. But all you need to do is kill some zombies in order to get your hands on a monkey bomb and throw the monkey bomb in front of the fence in order it for it to be blown open. You'll then get your hands on the Russian tanker hat. You can also get the hat by killing the Blightfather who is currently in the graveyard. So if he's there, you might want to try kill him first or wait for someone else or another team to do so first. Or go for the typical smash and grab, grab a monkey bomb, throw it at the tomb, grab the hat, and rush off. Also, another big tip that I would give to get the Russian tanker hat, because unless the Blightfather event is active, there is only ever one on the map. So make sure you try to land at graveyard first. You won't even need to kill zombies to get the monkey bomb, as they do also spawn in the graveyard. Because trust me, if another player beats you to that Russian tanker hat, and you don't get your hands on it, and you complete those objectives, you're going to be really annoyed. So to complete the mission, you'll need to place in the top 10 and that's all you need to do and have Nikolai's hat in your inventory when you finish the match. And at the end of the game, you'll unlock Nikolai to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. We then have Takio, who definitely has the easiest quest item to get your hands on, which is the Emperor's Note, but also gives you one of the biggest handicaps in the game in order to complete it. You can get his item at either the lighthouse on the top floor, at the boxing ring, at the office, at the top of the stairs, or the one that I've been going to most often, the office on the second floor on the desk at Asylum. You get the Emperor's Note by interacting with the typewriter to make it appear, which will start the mission that you'll need to complete in order to unlock Takio. Now, your first objective is to not use any equipment. Now, I don't know about you, but I think other than not using a weapon for the rest of the game, that is the biggest handicap you could possibly be given. That's not using any grenades, any sensor darts, any concussions, which help you win so many gunfights in the game. 
Now, if you're playing in solos, you'll need to also place in the top 15, in duos, the top eight, or the top four in squads in order to complete the mission alongside not using any equipment. Thankfully, this isn't too high of a placement, but if you're playing in squads or duos, your teammates can still use equipment. So just focus on shooting the enemies they're stunning or throwing grenades at, and you'll find it pretty easy to be able to unlock Takiao. So find the Emperor's letter at either Asylum, the Boxing Gym, or the Lighthouse. Don't use any equipment. Place in the top 15 in solos, top eight in duos, top four in squads, and you'll unlock Takiel to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. And now it's time for the big one. My favorite zombies character, and probably the most well-known, Rick Toffin. Out of the four new zombie characters added into Black Ops 4 Blackout, he is also the most difficult to unlock, as you'll first need to get your hands on either the Russian tanker hat in the graveyard, or the Emperor's Letter, either Asylum, the Lighthouse, or the Boxing Ring, but Asylum is where I'd personally recommend you get the letter from. Once you've got either the Emperor's Letter or the Russian Tanker Hat, you'll need to head over to the Fountain in the middle of Asylum to sacrifice the other quest item to trade in for the Blood Vials. So to do that, go to the Fountain and press Interact. The Russian Tanker Hat or Emperor's Letter will be removed from your inventory and the Blood Vials will appear on the floor. But one big thing to be aware of is that right now, and this might be changed in the future by Treyarch, but you have to be playing as one of the Primus zombie characters in order to be able to exchange the other zombie quest items for the blood vials. So make sure to play as either Dempsey, Takiel, or Nikolai. Now to unlock Rick Toffin, you then need to place in either the top five in solos, top three in duos, or top two in squads in order to unlock him. This isn't the hardest of challenges that we've seen, but out of the Primus crew, he is definitely the trickiest. Though a nice little thing to be aware of is that if you die in squads or duos and you've got the vials in your inventory, if your teammate goes on to get the placement that you need to get Richtofen, you will also get your hands on that sweet, sweet unlock to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. He's definitely one of the most iconic characters in the Zombies universe and it's quite interesting because you have to sacrifice another Primus character's mission item in order to go for Richtofen which I thought was a nice little touch. So in order to unlock Richtofen, find either the Russian tanker hat or Emperor's letter, head over to the Asylum Fountain, interact to get the blood vials, and then finish in either the top five in solos, top three in duos, or top two in squads, and you will then have Richtofen to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. And if you follow this guide in order, you'll now have all four Primus character skins to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. So something that I can't not touch on in a Blackout Zombie character skin video is of course the timed event that we will continue to see in Black Ops 4 Blackout and that is the Blightfather because he has the ability to give you every zombie character skin mission from both the Chaos crew and the Primus crew. So as you're probably aware of, you'll be able to tell when the Blightfather has spawned into the game by there being a red beam of light at the graveyard Killing him will give you a random zombie quest item alongside some level 3 armor and a few gold guns which are weapons with all their attachments. The mystery box also becomes available to loot which can also hold another zombie quest item like Dempsey's Juggernaut bottle. Some good news as well is that in solos and duos the Blightfather's health has been reduced making him a bit easier to kill but do make sure to pay attention to enemies making their way to you from Asylum or other parts of the map as if you become too laser focused on killing the Blightfather, there is a strong chance that you might get killed quite easily. Though it's definitely worth doing when the timed event is on to get your hands on some extra zombie skin character missions. Just a couple tips on killing him, do make sure to keep moving and if you're in duos or squads, one of you kite him around the graveyard while the other shoots. Don't take the risk of being killed by the Blightfather rather than another player. It's just not worth it and you're not going to be able to unlock those zombie character skins. So there we have it. That is how you unlock all the Black Ops 4 Blackout Primus zombie characters. I'm pretty excited because they're not actually that difficult to unlock compared to Mason and Woods, for example, where you have to win the game to get the character. 
they were ridiculously hard. So I think we're gonna see these character skins a lot more often and because they're some of the most popular characters in the Black Ops universe, I think that's pretty cool. Do make sure to let me know down in the comments below which ones you've managed to unlock. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm gonna be bringing a lot more regular content right here on my channel. And also smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time.